Thank you for uh, giving us the possibility of uh, explaining uh, what is uh, uh, this project that is uh, an European funded project uh, that has been uh, uh, going on for three years now. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, for us, uh, for our laboratory back uh, at the hospital uh, uh, Sant'Orsola has been very important because it uh, has helped us uh, in uh, improving the diagnosis of mental retardation. And in particular, the, the participants are not only Italy, but other nine countries, mainly from the Eastern Europe. And uh, our main objective was uh, to identify the molecular causes of uh, 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 mental retardation, or uh, as it is called now, intellectual disability, which is a very common disorder, unfortunately, and uh, using the most uh, uh, updated technologies available. So essentially, uh, to uh, give the opportunity to each of the partners of uh, training and learning this new technology. So not only for research purpose, but just to translate this uh, into diagnostic for patient. And so for, uh, just to be very brief, I just give you an overview and then each partner will tell uh, how important has been uh, this project for their own uh, uh, countries. So essentially we have been able to uh, collect more than a thousand of patients and uh, that has been analyzed uh, with new technologies. And in particular for uh, our uh, group, we have been able to um, give a fellowship to seven uh, young researchers to study this project and to develop uh, the new technologies in our uh, department. So uh, this has been really important and uh, we hope to carry out uh, all we have learned during these uh, years. So uh, I'm just concluding briefly and give the, the word to the other participants. And thank you for the attention. Ringraziamo Elena Bonora e, e io vorrei innanzitutto che dopo questi, i nomi che citerò e le provenienze degli scienziati eh, che ci fosse un applauso collettivo raccomandandoli una volta che verranno chiamati sul palco di, eh, lo so che è tremendo, di limitare l'intervento a tre minuti a persona perché se no sforiamo, stiamo andando benissimo anche con i tempi, vedo che c'è grande interesse poi siamo, eh, ogni tanto io guardo il professor Capecchi che, che, che fa così con la testa e siamo contenti che, che, che ci sia questa cosa e quindi abbiamo la presenza di Tamara Sarkisian che viene dall'Armenia Joe Hettinger da Cipro eh, Kuciskas Vaidutis eh, che viene da Lituania Anna Latos Bielenska eh, che viene dalla Polonia eh, Znedek Sedlacek che viene dalla Repubblica Ceca, Ludmilla Lipschitz, che eh, io sbaglierò sicuramente qualche cosa dall'Ucraina, eh, Igor Lebedenev dalla Russia e Dan Kurg che viene eh, dall'Estonia. Ecco, eh, se... Eh, ecco, è la, è la prima, sì. Yeah. Good afternoon, dear professors, dear colleagues. Uh, first of all, I would like to express our gratitude to our coordinator of University of Bologna, Professor Giovanni Romeo, and his uh, team, uh, and to all other our partners of Cherish Project. We are sorry that this is our final uh, meeting, and I hope to continue this so important for my country project. our patients. I will be very short. So, uh, of course, this uh, data of CHERISH and all information concerning CHERISH pro project, we try to disseminate among our colleagues, among uh, students or doctors in Armenia, and we presented 500 educational leaflets in Armenia language for colleagues. We uh, publish the results of our Cherish project in Armenia journals and newspapers. We have some conferences and workshops in molecular diagnostic approaches uh, for diagnostic of mental retardation with genetic background. And we had our last conference two days ago on chat neurology 
where we used also all our results and information of Cherish project. We had workshops, seminars with round tables and presented Cherish project results in uh, 2011 twice and 2012 also we organized the Rare Disease Day in Armenia in February. We will have summer school with uh, four hour interns and young doctors in June and August until August 2012. And we disseminate all uh, information on Cherish project results for our medical students and interns during our lecturing of medical genetics in Armenia. We present our results at uh, European Society of Human Genetics conferences with poster presentations du sorry, during the three years and we participate at orphanet meeting twice also with our results. We participated at FP7 EECA link conference in Brussels. Uh, we uh, uh, discussed this with our colleagues from uh, Bologna University from uh, Tartu University for searching of new partner, partners for our project, for our new proposal. Uh, we uh, presented only two articles, uh, two abstracts uh, with cherished results and we are go going to publish two more articles with our colleagues from uh, Cherish uh, groups uh, together uh, and I would like to say Thank you to everyone from our Cherish, and I hope uh, that uh, Professor Giovanni Romeo <laughs> will try to continue this so important, actual, interesting, and very, very important for my country project. Thank you to all of you. Thank you. Mr. Joe Ettinger. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, in my case, what I'm going to briefly uh, describe was the network that we were able to establish in Cyprus as part of the, Cher uh, part of the Cherish group. And in our case, uh, with Cyprus being a sort of small island, uh, what we found was that we were centered with the Cyprus Institute of Neurology and Genetics. And with this referral center, it was initially uh, created in the early 1990s with funding from the United Nations. And the purpose of the Institute was to provide various uh, services, research, and educational opportunities over the years, for about the past 15 years. And what we were really able to develop, even these past three years, being part of Cherish, was a greater integration of our medical geneticists with um, pediatricians, with doctors, and so on, on the island. Uh, in our case, what we get, or we get a lot of referrals, because again, Cyprus is quite small. You don't have to go very far, especially for a Canadian. And in this case, what we were able to do with some early workshops with our clinical genetics teams, that we were able early on to inform people not just in the surrounding area, but in the towns, villages, and so on. And then from there, what we were able to build on was the fact that if we had professionals, healthcare professionals, and they knew Cherish, they knew of our work in intellectual impairments, they knew to refer to us. And we were able to recruit our families, our individuals with the condition over the past couple of years. It worked out very well, actually. Now, of course, that being said, I mean, we are one of several partners. We recruited our families. We did our scientific analyses. And, they, and with all due humility, they were good. And in this case, though, of course, we had scientific findings. Here's an example where, you know, we're presenting, you're showing these findings to various conferences, various meetings, whether they're scientific, or whether they're to, so for example, parent advocacy groups and so on. And what we were able to do though is not just do the science to report the science amongst ourselves, amongst researchers and, and healthcare professionals, 
But the other point of this, and that's one of the objectives of Cherish, was to also bring that information back to the families, back to the individuals with intellectual impairments. And so all of the work we did wouldn't be possible without them. And then when we had results, we made sure as part of our dissemination, we gave that input back to the families, one-on-one -on -one counseling, one-on-one -on -one sessions. Now, that being said, we also spent the last few years as well disseminating in general, in a broader sense when we're talking about Cyprus. Whether we're talking about uh, Cherish itself, for example, leaflets, the document in orange, describing what we're doing, how we're doing it, who's involved, or if we're being more specific about intellectual impairments in general. Because like you say, uh, like we know that not everyone is aware of these or the frequency or the incidence of some of these conditions. And so in our case, like our partners, we also had Greek leaflets and such that were specifically tailored for them. And of course, in addition to that, in addition to sort of social um, uh, dissemination or promotion, we had some formal teaching. We integrated uh, in some of our lectures in a postgraduate program in medical genetics, uh, certain aspects of intellectual impairments themselves, and we were able to bring in our work in Cherish as part of that. Thank you very much. Kuchins has light duties. It's right. Yeah, my name is yeah. Agla Fritschait and I'm a clinical geneticist. And the uh, Cherish project has significantly contributed to the uh, genetic investigation of patients with intellectual disability in Lithuania. Um, our young researchers uh, were trained in the field of molecular cytogenetics in Cyprus and in Bologna. And uh, uh, most up-to-date techniques were applied to the diagnostic investigation of these patients. During this project, we have collected more than 200 patients with intellectual disability, and um, uh, molecular karyotyping revealed chromosomal alterations in 16% of these patients. Some of these alterations were novel, and uh, they contributed to the identification of uh, new candidate genes for intellectual disability as well as regulatory sequences of some known genes. And um, this uh, innovation in Lithuanian science of medical genetics was not unnoticed in Lithuania and also in the international community. Um, more than six publications were published in the national and international journals. Uh, some of them will be pub are already sub uh, some more publications are already submitted, and a uh, few of them are, are still in our minds and are waiting for the opportunity to be written down in the paper. And as the results are good, uh, interesting, and uh, it is worth to talk about them. And uh, we spread the message about this new and powerful diagnostic technique in some conferences which were held in Lithuania in its capital, Vilnius. For example, the Baltic Congress of Laboratory Medicine, Biofuture, and the uh, Science for the Health event. Also, poster presentations were presented in uh, Washington, Göteborg, Tartu and other countries, spreading the information and uh, um, of the uh, of the genetics and uh, achievements in the genetics of intellectual disability. And I would like to say many thanks to Cherish and also to all of you for your uh, attention. Non vorrei sballare la formazione come nelle squadre di calcio, ma non è colpa mia. Adesso è la volta della signora Anna Latos Bielenska. Distinguished professors, distinguished guests, uh, it is a big pleasure to be here. Uh, Professor Romeo, thank you for giving us this possibility to join uh, Cherish. It was a very important project for Poland and for Polish uh, patients. May I uh, ask to have first slide, please? Uh -huh. uh, 
genetic care of patients with mental retardation is in Poland not uh, uh, very good. It is due to uh, many reasons, and one of the main reasons is that many clinicians do not recognize genetic, do not recognize mental ret retardation as a possibly genetic disease. To improve the situation, it is necessary to teach, teach, and teach those physicians, students, and uh, also uh, patients, community. Uh, we stated that the important uh, group of physicians are uh, family doctors and uh, are family doctors uh, and uh, on the occasion of convention of the Polish Society of Family uh, Medicine, information on cherish and of importance of a genetic care for patients with mental retardation was distributed among 3,000 participants. Uh, also, uh, important uh, group of uh, people uh, were therapists, uh, psychologists, and educators, and we used a number of conferences. Another possibility to um, give information on uh, cherish was meeting with families uh, with, uh, on the conference for families of persons with rare chromosomal syndromes and mental retardation. And uh, over 40 families with mentally retarded children were uh, uh, cancelled, and many of them were later in Cherish project. We use also conferences to uh, inform our colleagues on the uh, CHERISH, uh, and it was Polish Congress of Genetics, and results of CHERISH were presented during European Human Genetic Conferences. Uh, CHERISH, uh, information on CHERISH was, was also present in the media. Uh, discoveries of geneticists for science and patients. It's, uh, this article uh, was uh, published in a Polish local daily. We think that teaching physicians, it is too late. It is necessary to teach students. So we have introduced annual delivery of lecture, genetics of mental dis disability with information on the CHERISH project for students of Polish University of Medical Scientists, Sciences for future doctors, midwives, and nurses. Also for students of higher vocational state school in Kalisz. It is in Wielkopolska province, and uh, it is the best vocational uh, school in Poland uh, for future nurses and midwives. And also UNITERA postgraduate studies for educators from special schools, speech therapists, and psychologists. And it is also a website in Polish with information on Cherish leaflet in Polish. It's Polish uh, translation of the leaflet prepared by the consortium. And information on Cherish was also published in brochure, Success of Wielkopolska Province in the Seven Strain Program. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, con piacere sono tornata a bellissima storica Bologna. And um, now, oops, it will be in here. It's not, okay. And um, here on the background of the best view of our home city, Prague, I try to summarize briefly our cherished experience in the last three years. Uh, from the scientific point of view and from the point of view of the possibilities, uh, diagnostic possibilities for our patients and their families, 188 patients from 177 families were tested in the project. 21 patients had a clearly pathogenic variant. 12 patients had a potentially pathogenic variant, the significance of which is currently unclear, and it will be a subject of further studies. Uh, the scientific contribution of, uh, of the CHERISH project was not the only benefit of it. Uh, the, mm, in the scope of this project, 
we could realize uh, and uh, and re we can realize several other activities right organizing events for geneticists and other medical professionals and using case reports we can introduce uh, intellectual disabilities uh, to our medical students. Uh, thanks to Pro Cherish Project, we can also uh, we can also start and realize very important things, like our things which are very needed for our patients and their families, like auspices of public events. Uh, our support or other under our aegis uh, where many self-help groups and other kinds of lobbying we do. Uh, on the next slide, we document some of these, these activities. Uh, you can see on the first photo the in the opening of the sheltered housing for intellectual disabled uh, adults and autistic adults in April 2009. In October 2010, uh, the foundation stone under our aegis uh, of a new sheltered housing for intellectually disabled and autistic children violated. And at least, uh, at last, the class for special needs for children with uh, with intellectual disability and autism and other, other genetic diseases were found. Also, there was found during the duration of Cherish Project, there was found a fragile ex patients organization in, uh, in June 2010. So many activities were done on the scientific level. My colleagues Daniel will speak tomorrow. So uh, at the end, I would like to acknowledge uh, the European Commission, the partner groups and cherish our colleagues, and of course, our patients and their families. Thank you very much for your attention. Dall'Ucraina, la signora Ludmila Lishis. Thank you very much, dear colleagues, dear audience. It's a great opportunity for me uh, to represent here our country with a population of 46 million and our Institute of Molecular Biology and Genetics, National Academy of Science of Ukraine involved in this <coughs> project, in this great project. Uh, uh, it was <coughs> very important not only for science in Ukraine, for molecular genetics, but uh, especially important for medical geneticists. And uh, in our um, team, our strong team, we involved uh, the uh, local uh, medical geneticists from uh, different uh, cities, different regions of our country. It was Uzhgorod, uh, Lviv, Khmelnytsky, uh, Simferopol, um, the capital of uh, Crimea autonomy, and Kiev, uh, of course. And uh, these uh, clinicians not only uh, collect uh, families and investigate the families, but uh, they inform um, local uh, government authorities and uh, mass media about our project, about the importance of uh, new technologies for um, improvement of diagnostic tools of intellectual disability for purposes of um, genetical counseling uh, and uh, family planning. Uh, and uh, moreover, uh, we have an interview in uh, national uh, first channel radio of Ukraine 
and inform uh, all uh, people in our country uh, about uh, this project. Uh, very important uh, point, uh, it was uh, the information of uh, parents of patients and the members of um, Jarela Association of Patients with uh, Intellectual Disability and uh, we disseminate a leaflet uh, translated in Ukrainian uh, and uh, all um, uh, these uh, people uh, was, uh, were informed about uh, any steps of our project and uh, they uh, waiting for uh, new results and new uh, important things uh, for improvement of diagnostics, um, the patients in Ukraine. And uh, moreover, we, we have a presentations on different conferences in Ukraine and international uh, conferences. You, you uh, can see a list of these uh, events. Uh, in different uh, cities of Ukraine, Kharkiv, Odessa, um, Vinnytsia, Kyiv. Uh, we have a presentation in St. Petersburg, Russia, uh, on the conference for rare disorder uh, Eastern European countries, uh, and uh, in, in much more in other um, events. Uh, we use uh, every possibility uh, to explain people and uh, scientific community about our uh, project. Thank you very much. Dalla Russia, Igor Lebedev. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I am from, not Belarus, I'm from Russia. We are the most uh, distantly located region in the project. Uh, our team has a unique situation. We have a specialized genetic clinic which provides uh, all aspects of uh, genetic analysis, consultation with patients with uh, hereditary disease and this combination is a great success for our book in the Cherish project. Uh, the, the participation in the, this project has a great significance for us for several reasons. The first, uh, the first one, of course, is a cooperation with new partners, which provides a new ideas, a new possibility to research and diagnostics. New research and diagnostic technologies now available in Tomsk uh, for investigation of reasons of mental uh, disabilities in our patients. New standardized algorithms which were uh, worked together with our partners are now available for clinical examination of patients with intellectual disabilities. Uh, during the projects, uh, more than 200 patients with mental retardation and their families were examined. Uh, diagnosis of known, syndr known syndromes and several new mutations uh, was made. Uh, during uh, the project, uh, we took part active um, activity uh, in dissemination of knowledge. During the last uh, conference organized by our institute, Hemogenetics and Pathology, which was devoted to current problem of cytogenetics, information, uh, information about cherished projects and leaflets translated in Russia, were distributed between more than 200 participants from Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and Germany, medical and um, research centers. Thus, uh, the particip uh, participation in this project was very uh, important and significant for, for us, and we are waiting for a new cooperation. Thank you very much. Adesso abbiamo la presenza del signor Hans Kurg. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, uh, let me end up also with a small overview about Cherish in Estonia. 
Estonia is a small country close to Finland, Sweden, Russia, Latvia, one of the smallest partners in this project. Actually, DNA array analysis started already back in 2007. This was actually the year when we drafted the CHERISH project. And uh, all together, we analyzed more than 300 uh, DNAs. And within the CHERISH project, also, we analyzed a pretty good number of DNAs here. And um, one more very important thing is that we started with new technologies here. And this is a full exon next generation sequencing. Well, but uh, I don't want to stop here in publications or conferences. We also attended a couple of conferences. We have also uh, published several things. But the main thing, which was for us very important, what we got from this project, was that um, starting from January uh, last year, January 2011, uh, Estonian Health Insurance Fund is covering chromosomal microarray analysis in Estonia. And uh, our Cherish project was also one of the main drivers that we got so far. And now, as you see from these numbers, we have analyzed a pretty good number of patients in Estonia. And this is like a first tier test in, uh, sorry, uh, in, in, in patients where we have certain indications like intellectual disability, developmental disorders with unclear etiology, autism spectrum disorders, multiple congenital anomalies, though this will be a first tier test as it is recommended also uh, worldwide. So we are actually doing pretty well in that sense. And here you see also some data. I don't want to go into detail here, but I just want to thank the project members and the whole consortium that it was a really good help for us we got so far. Thank you very much. Io vorrei accomunare tutti gli scienziati in un grande applauso per eh, 